another in our continuing series of let's take a look at what some customers are doing and seeing if we can find out where the errors are using lens align and focus tune on Michael tapes. Okay, we loaded this series using the Canon 7D and Canon 50mm 1.4 lens. And the first thing we'll notice is that we're at ISO 580th of a uh, second shutter speed and a 1.4 aperture so there is not enough light it's that simple uh, an 80th of a second at 1.4 needing 500 ISO this should be bright so there's not enough light and we'll see that uh, as we go along uh, let's hit the open folder button and look at these pictures double click and in my system uh, photo mechanic opens up but it could be preview or windows explorer whatever you look at pictures in so here's the zoomed in first picture of course very out of focus here's the full frame and while the uh, the system being fully level or the camera being aligned so that this is level in the frame is not critical uh, this is too off it's not critical but this is a severe angle and we analyze this uh, grayscale patch so if this is tilted like this it's not going to know where to find the grayscale patch as you'll see in a second let's take a look uh, at these pictures you can see on the histogram everything is pushed to the left again 80th of a second so this is way too slow kind of grainy so between the low light and the high iso and the grain we have a mess obviously all this stuff is totally out of focus uh, and because of that the iso the high iso is showing through and uh, so this is basically, you know, a human couldn't look at these and analyze them and focus tune is not going to do much better because it's just uh, a mess of noise and uh, uh, blur. And, you know, now we're starting to get into a little bit of uh, better focus in the center, but we can still see, you know, the angle and the low light. Now, keep in mind that the, uh, the camera is focusing on the target, and the target is, you know, it looks like two stops down from here. So the ruler is eliminated very well, but the target is dark, and that's what the camera is focusing on, so we're not going to get reliable focus. Also, we see this shadow coming down on the target, and that's going to be a problem. So this looks like it was lit directly from the top, and that's why there's no light on the target. If the light were moved uh, forward a foot or two and tilted back uh, towards the unit parallel to the ruler, that would work out much better. The other thing we see is that these pictures are moving um, all over the place in between shots. Now, this is a 50 millimeter lens very close to the unit, so that means this tripod is either very flimsy or uh, during the defocus, the camera is physically being moved or, or something. But uh, focus tune can accommodate for slight movements, but these are huge movements for a 50 millimeter lens. So that's gonna pose a big problem as well. Remember, we're trying to analyze you know, this ruler data and this data, and while we uh, align the pictures as best as we can. Uh, it's not designed to align for movements that are uh, that are this big. So we can predict that we're not going to get reliable data uh, from these shots because of the low light, high ISO, tilt, and uh, disparity in lighting between the target and the ruler, and all this movement uh, which is happening in between shots. And the low shutter speed might even be causing some movement from mirror slap uh, if it's not on a very sturdy tripod. So if we look at focus tune uh, and we set the um, crop points, we also see, uh, of course, each shot is moving, so it's hard to know uh, where the camera is focusing. On this particular shot that we're going to use as a reference, the camera is focusing in pure white. So that's not a good situation. Uh, unless instructed otherwise, what we're doing now is uh, we're aligning uh, and sighting through the A target that would be the uh, the leftmost on uh, on most uh, lens aligns so if there's an a target use the a uh, if there's only a b or a center target then you'd be focusing right here but here you can see the camera is focusing on this white area and it's not going to go very well because how is the camera going to focus when there's no line we're trying to focus in between these dots on the vertical b line or in between here is even better if your lens align has a uh, an a sighting hole the uh, the later ones in the last couple of years do. Okay, we can analyze this, but it's going to give us, you know, pretty much nonsense. Uh, it's going to give us uh, something like this. And in subsequent tests, at least under this these bad conditions, we see that the camera is front focusing. Uh, this is uh, in the front. This red line represents the uh, more or less perfect focus. If there is such a thing, uh, front focus is in front of this line. Back focus is above this line. So we can see that uh, in 
in subsequent tests, we're not going to mess with these uh, minus lines. We're going to just work from plus 10 to plus 20 and see what we get as we improve the situation. Now, it might change when it's lit right, uh, but at least uh, for now, that's uh, where I would head and take it from there. So this is what we would cause, uh, call uh, user error or setup error. Too much movement, too low light. The uh, frame is not centered. The, the cause of this is that the, the camera must be uh, set up so that the, uh, in this case, the A target or the B, whichever one is being cited with, must be right in the center of the frame in live view uh, on the back of the camera when you're positioning the camera. Be, uh, so you sight uh, without the focus target mounted, put the focus target mounted and do your final camera alignment just with uh, with the target on there and aligned to this spot where my cursor is or this spot if you're using the B. But clearly you can see here even before you run the test that the camera is focusing in this white area so nothing good is going to happen from that. So I think that uh, explains uh, most of the problems of what's going on here and why we can expect less than stellar